Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. This will be the last one of the throne board series. If you have missed the previous ones, just check my last posted videos. As you saw in the intro, today we will play a bit with some actuators, specifically a DC motor control, to establish the spinning of this 3D printed jet engine. The system will be all controlled by Arduino Portenta board, the heart of our throne host. In the midway, we have a third part, which is the L293H bridge motor driver a necessary part to control the speed and direction of the motor through the low signals generated by Arduino. I remind you that I have designed this throne board schematic and PCB using Altium Designer. There where I drop it an L293H bridge motor driver surrounded by these diodes acting as blockers of reverse and current flow that could be generated back from the motor, just the same way as it is mentioned in the part datasheet. I also added some screw heater terminals for motor outputs and for the external power supply which could reach 36 volt DC. But we need to drop it down to 5 volt to provide the appropriate voltage for Portenta. That's why I used this voltage regulator out here. About the PCB layout, I kept the motor driver near the heater connectors to keep a short output traces which could help to reduce AMI. I also followed the recommendations of the datasheet and I created a copper pore area around the ground pins to act as a heatsink. The assembly of this motor driver in SMD package is not difficult at all and I really recommend this compact size. Now moving to the jet engine, I used the STL files from Thingiverse provided by Katia V5 FTW user. I just reduced the size of all parts to 60% because the original size is slightly a big one. After printing the parts, all what I have to do is assembling them to produce the jet engine structure. Now my jet engine looks ready, all what I have to do is adding this DC motor to it. I designed this joint part to connect the motor to the engine mechanical structure. Then I made this part to hold the motor in place once it's turned it on.
The last step for the 3D printed parts is to screw the jet engine support and the Arduino port end out. After arranging the wires for the external power source and the motor, I added this logo stamp to my project and we finished the hardware part. Now I prepared this Arduino code that will help to control the motor speed from the signals of this potentiometer that I placed on my throne board. The motor direction will be set through this slight switch. I uploaded the code to my Portenta. Then I set the external power supply to 24 volt. Now it's time to action. That's it for today guys, do not miss to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.